Hi, I'm Pam. I'm one of the volunteers here at Cops and Kids and today we're going to learn about recycling and we're going to learn about how to reduce, reuse, and recycle all different kinds of materials. We're going to make a craft like this using bottle caps and different lids found around the house and we're also going to make our own bookmarks made out of old cereal boxes and granola boxes and things like that. But first, we're going to read a book called Michael Recycle. It's by Ellie Bethel. There once was a town called Aberdeen Rimey, where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh, the air was all hazy, but the people did nothing, they got rather lazy. Then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird, and it wasn't a plane. A green cape crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on the top of his hair. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump, and then landed head first in the town garbage dump. He brushed off his suit, and he jumped to his feet, and he grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle, and I have a plan, but I need your help, everyone to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon 50-foot bugs will take over your town. You've got to recycle. You've got to act soon, before all your trash reaches up to the moon. And crushing a can, he gave them a wink and vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Moncooch exclaimed to her dear friend, Mr. Crew, did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle, how hard can it be? A green and clean town would be lovely to see. They recycled their paper, their plastic and cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Be Greener campaign. They grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. So proud was the town of their green transformation. They threw a great party and a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper then rolled it back up to use again later. You might think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree, agree in Aberdeen Rimey, recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry, or frown. For everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again a bright blue. Look at our town, it gleams and it glitters. Now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the Green Cape Crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around. He'd already moved on to help the next busy town. So if you should see a green silhouette striking the skies, please don't get upset. The noises you hear, that clunk and that thunk, is just our friend Michael recycling old junk. Now, also in this book, we have some tips about recycling, some things that you can do around your house. One of them is you can recycle newspapers and cans and glasses and certain kinds of plastic. You might be able to recycle um, old margarine tubs and peanut butter jugs and things like that. You can also help out by turning off all the electronics, turning off your lights when you leave, turn off the TV set. You can make sure you stop the water when you're brushing your teeth so we're not using we're not using extra water. You can take a walk or ride your bike instead of always going into the car. You can recycle old food into a compost pile like banana peels and orange peels and coffee grinds, things that are around the house that could go into a compost and you can use them in your garden at some point. So recycling is really important. And today we're going to learn to do a craft with some recyclable things from around the house. 
um, with some paint and bottle caps and some toilet paper holders. You can be really, really creative. It'll be really lots of fun. Okay, we're gonna go on to do the craft now. I'm back again with the book Michael Recycle. So now we're gonna do our recycling craft. So I have collected a whole bunch of recycling stuff from my house. I have a little cup. It's like an applesauce cup and a toilet paper holder, a can. I've got all different size lids that you can find around your house. Okay, all different size lids. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take different color paint. You can use whatever color paint you have at your house. Just put a little bit on the plates. And then what we're going to do, and you can use any color paper you want. It can be white, it can be pink, whatever you have around the house. And we're just going to dip our little cap into the paint. Kind of squish it around a little bit. So you got paint on there. And then we're just gonna go right to the paper and press on it. I'm gonna do another one. And we can make all different kinds of designs, different sizes. I'm gonna keep that one there. I'm gonna do one a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna do a Let's do yellow. Make sure I got some yellow on here. And I'm just going to kind of do it all over the paper. You can make any kind of design that you want. Let's see. Let me try a bigger one. This is from a mayonnaise jar. Now let's see if we can kind of get some paint on it. Let's put it here, and here, and here. So it's gonna be like a little abstract. Let's see if this one's a little, this one's a little tiny one. Let's try this one. So that's kind of the whole gist of it and it can turn out like this when it's all dry. Different sizes um, and it's just really pretty. You can use different colors. So this is what eventually it's gonna look like. Okay, so our next little craft that we're going to do put this over here. Our next craft, we're going to make bookmarks. And we're going to use bookmarks from recycled boxes from my kitchen. So I have a crackers box, I have a granola box, I think I have a Rice Krispie Treat box, okay? And what you're going to do is you're just going to use, um, we're just going to, this is one that I made. And I'm just going to kind of cut out a section. Let's see. Let's do this section right here. So it doesn't matter how big your bookmark is, but we'll make it about like this. We'll just cut it. And then we'll round the edges. Just like that. And then we can get a hole puncher, punch your hole right in here. You can decorate the back if you like. Then you have a bookmark and you're using recycled materials that were found from around the house. Another thing we can do, uh, you can use recycled stuff from around the house. Here's an old margarine tub and I'm keeping my rock collection in there. So you can reuse it again. We can use anything that you find. There's some bubble wrap, you can use that. Oh, here's another thing. It's a to-go container. I'm keeping my shells in here. It's a great little thing to use for my shells instead of throwing this out. So there's lots of different things that you can do to, to recycle. So don't forget, you have to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And you'll see this symbol lots and lots of places. In fact, I think there's a garbage can right here. It's got recycling stuff on it. If you want to help save your planet, keep it nice and clean and fresh smelling, let's start recycling. Thank you. Bye.